Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 7th, 2020. So today we have Stibnite Conflict. Now this is pretty interesting because I feel like there's going to be a real agitation going on when we start talking more about dark energies and starting to call them out. They try to come in and grab their recruits, right? And they try to infiltrate even more. Focus on the light, guys. Focus on the light. Beam that light out and they can't get in there. Ask Archangel Michael to protect you. The more we talk about those things that everybody else has wanted to glaze over, the more we bring that up to the surface, the more there will be some conniving, you know, attempt to drag people back into the darkness, to not see yourself as worthy, to start acting out in a way that's not healthy. Okay? This could be internal conflict too. This could be political conflict. This could be conflict with people in your neighborhood. Maybe someone judges you because you went out and walked your dog for a half hour and they think that that's ridiculous. You should have only been out for 10 minutes. Right? <laughs> because don't you know what's going on in the world? Um, whatever it is, this conflict definitely and first and foremost feels like a push-pull with... I know I'm going to be okay. Oh, no, what's happening? A push-pull with, no, I want to be in the light, but I feel the dark pulling me. This is it, guys. These are the times. We've been talking about this. Other practitioners have been talking about this and warning people. This is it. Now, does it have to look like a war? No. Does it have to look like craziness? No. Um, but we have to make that decision to say no to that. And to say, no, we don't need natural disasters to wake us up. So why do they keep happening? Because we refuse to wake up. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not realizing that we can stop that. That we can learn our lessons a little more peacefully. To start seeing ourselves, you know, as not like one against another. That's an important lesson here. But rather we're in this together. The sense of community. It was really interesting. I went outside uh, a couple days ago. And there are some people <laughs> that I've not seen in a while. We used to take each other for granted. You know, we either not, I always say hi. I always say, I smile and say hi. And sometimes people don't say it back to me and that's okay, I guess. I, it's questionable, but okay. Um, <laughs> and now I, you know, you walk outside and everybody's like, hi, hi, human contact, hi. And we're still like, you know, 18 feet away from each other, like waving our <laughs> arm around like, hi there, old friend. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't even know each other's name, right? But, you know, I think that this feeling conflicted, you know, I mean, there, there is a, a nice way to come through this. It is teaching us something. It's teaching us to appreciate one another, to not see each other's competition for silly things in the store. Or that we have to judge one another. It's going to be a messy day. <laughs> we might be all over the place, but as we always do, we will come through. All right? So we're going to leave it there, guys. I am sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.